gut. Ah! Good morning! So finally I'm back. Back, back, back. To ride, back to work. So we are Thursday now, it's gonna be two weeks I haven't ride. Um what happened, what happened, what happened? So when I crashed, I was on Mother's Day. I went back home. I oh, know I went to work. I went to work straight away. Thinking that it's gonna be okay. Then uh, four hours later I started to feel my knees. The big hematom so i was like oh god i need to go home so i take i went home i went to hospital on the sunday they told me to rest and me obviously i rest for two days on a on a monday i stay home so on a tuesday i was feeling better so i i take my bike i went to the shop fix it and on a wednesday i went back to work thinking all good you know and uh, what happened Wednesday was okay Thursday started to be painful Friday I wake up with my legs very very in pain and on a Saturday I went to work and I had to leave I only worked for like four hours and I had to go home after um, I went back to hospital see another dog no Actually, my clinic at work, because I have a doctor at work, they gave me some medication and uh, they said, take this, you'll be much better. They gave me a thing called Acorcia or something like that. It's 120 milligrams of something and they say, this will make you feel better in two days. This is very powerful, very strong, it will make you feel better. Guess what? I didn't feel any, I still feel the same pain basically. So four days later I went back, four or five days, I went back to the hospital and the hospital gave me something like 200 milligrams twice a day. Something they say is very strong, you only make, you only do, uh, only start to feel the effect uh, two days later. So it was quite, quite more painful than at the first actually. My problem is I went back to work and I just should have stayed home and then it, it started to get worse. So last week I was off, this week I was off until Thursday and now I feel much much better but it's not 100% back, it's like maybe 80%. I still got pain in uh, in my foot because from my knees it went down to my foot and uh, yeah I couldn't for like probably a week every morning I couldn't move when I wake up. It was very it was very painful. If I have my knee guard on, I probably end up with only hematomes and it'll be okay, you know. But it then I forget. So yeah. This is the way actually chef or you know um, this is typical of being in the job as, as long as we can work we're gonna go to work you know what I mean no matter no matter what actually when I when that guy crashed into me in London someone crashed into me when I when I had my CBR before before I left London like maybe six months before I left and uh, what happened is I crashed my bike at 9 9 a.m. 8 a.m. something like that and uh, I take the bike ooh, back to the shop to the garage give it to them to check and I take the tube and I went to work for like the whole day basically this is the way we are you know we just if we are okay we go back to work which is very bad because this time you actually get worse. So now I'm back. Um, the way I done it, I actually post a, 
a few things. I went to my hard drive and I just because I have no, nothing to edit. I don't own much editing before, so I have no no much content to edit. So what I've done is I went to my hard drive. I pick up a few things from London or from some travel. So I got two travel video, one in Iceland, one in uh, one in Europe, one in Iceland. Um, what is so I got a few vlogs. Now I'm gonna make it from vlog today and uh, the rest of the week, and then I should be back to normal. But it was quite hard to to find basically some content. So yeah, the back is not fixed. Uh, I still have a problem. When I let the, like if I ride fast and I let, you know, uh, I leave the bike going without touching the handlebar, it just keep moving like that. So I still need to go to the shop to fix this. I need to fix this also. Um, put some new one, you know, to protect bit and pieces. Um, I make a few X-ray, you know, make the knees. My legs, uh, the, the the knees, it doesn't make here, it doesn't make my foot. My hands actually still painful sometimes. So I make extra of the wrist. Uh, nothing is broken, you know, I was lucky. But if I have a broken legs, for example, it will take like weeks and weeks to get better. So yeah, now I'm going back to work for two weeks and then I'm going, I'm going away. Um, so there will be more video coming up this week or whatever you're watching and uh, it'll be more some travel video so yeah dun, 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 dun. oh that's Gaki Ron no? Dun, 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 maybe she's here Gaki Road so yeah back to normal Almost, almost back to normal. I'll see you guys later. They're gonna make a petrol station there. That'd be quite good. Caltex, Caltex is opening. This is not a sponsor video for Caltex. Thanks for all the message, guys. All the people, all the support always thank you i appreciate and i'll see you guys later why safe and <laughs> and uh well i hope my my mistake my mistake of not slowing down over there in a roundabout i hope it's a uh, lesson to basically everyone else just you know when you come to intersection or just remind, remember to slow down because the problem is you you, you ride the, the same road every day so you just get confident and just I was just like 50 I think I was like 51 or 52 when I when I get to the intersection which is was too how do you call this too fast and I was just cruising and my mind was because there was a funeral if you see on the video there was a funeral cottage so my mind was more on a funeral and I was cruising at 52. If I was on the right lane, I could have avoided the guy, but then I was on the left lane. Also, the next portion we're gonna get there, it's open every morning on both sides, on only one side, so there's only one way to go down. So the way the guy was going up, I'm so confident that this road is closed normally for him to go up on a weekday. That's why in my mind I just didn't think like someone would come. So I hope my my mistake will serve lesson to everyone else. And I mean, do as you want, but um, you know, gears is as you can see, gears is important. You see, so this road is closed now, so I didn't expect the guy to just turn on the right and coming up on this one. I'm not going to flowing guys, it's close. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. And thanks for all the support, all the message. Bye.
Having breakfast. Shut up. I didn't realize I got a scratch here also. Ooh, from the scratch, you see? Anyway. Bike is fixed. Actually, yeah, no problem. The only thing is this one was slightly open. I didn't realize. So that's the whole thing, does it? I changed the air filter, the air box. Change the air box. And also change the what do you call this? The front brake pad. The rear one still okay, but the front I think I moved three thousand kilometers on it. So it was time to change. This one was bent, you just fix it up. So that's it, we're ready to go. Okay. I feel better. Um, every time when you change the airbox, you can see the difference. Nice bike. So I'm gonna try to get some end bar with the uh, with the uh, guard lever. Because every time I actually fall, like well, last time I fall also, the main thing that I actually hold everything together was the handbar with the with the guard. He actually didn't scratch the bike, and um, he hold very well the lever. So yeah, better be protected, you know. I think it's like two or three hundred pesos. I'm just gonna go and check it out. So now the bike is all fixed. Um, I just went to to the vulcanizer and it cost me like 20 pesos to change the valve. That's what I love about the Philippines. It costs nothing to, to fix things, you know. So yeah, this is done. Just have to wash the bike next. And I'm gonna wash the bike. I can make it dirty. Oh, splash everywhere dirty bitch um, wash the bike adjust the mirror and that's it fix fix tapos tapos na the bike is breathing much more with the new air boxes you can ch you can feel the punch a little bit problem in this thing is half of the time they don't work so you're just kind of losing your the pressure in your tire more than actually getting any you know the guy well that's what they do in the vulc vulcanizer that's why you should always check your tire after you go to the vulcanizer the tire was at 60 bars in there 60 they usually put 35 fuck that's why you ride like this. I, 
I just flooded from home to here and I was like, what the hell? Something is wrong. But well, you know why? Over pressure. It's a bit of a, you know, I was passing and then he, he was. Sometimes I light a cigarette to throw away my care. But when I'm finished lighting it, the ash is me impaired. I've been so bad for so long. And it's showing on my mind. The chaos is in control. so reckless it makes me cry and then i sit down and ask myself why why am i caught up in doing it right when doing it wrong makes me feel so alive It makes me cry And then I sit down and ask myself why Why am I caught up in doing it right When doing it wrong makes me feel so alive Staying up, I'm wilding out, I'm leaning in, I'm leaning in, pushing off my sneakers to the ground, I do not jump, I move the earth down, bear witness to the genius of my sound, born at the bottom, but now I'm tied down, look, I'm a call it swagger, I slip through time zones like a cloak and dagger, mad rubies on my chain, you can see your pain, bubble in blood, bang your girls in my head because she's sipping on my champagne, that's right, six figures in my back pocket, and that's right, 
one million in my safe deposit. That's right, I'm trill all day. I'm my way to a billy, staying real all day, man. I rejigged the game plan. Scoop up your girl and she's getting the spray tan, ha. And it was easy as that. Just a few lines of game and we out through the back. I got a black whip, take it to the streets. In the summer heat, the bass turned up. Leggy blonde on this hot beat. Can't touch me like I make ghosts. You want to try me? Come to my coast. I'm an east side boy and this boy don't play. I leave mad George drop with nothing to say. And I'm a mad rich kid, but nothing to pay. Sharp tongue will cut you up like a fish fillet. I'm like a bird on a wire singing songs into a fire. You can hear my screeches die at the moment I retire, but I'm still so dumb, so I gotta go far. This is I should stop. I'm willing to die for this shit. I'm ready to flip and I end up in prison the rest of my life for this shit. So my mama ain't want me, she got in a bush and I end up surviving this shit. And if I want a son and I ain't got the money, I'll probably be robbing this shit. Don't know how much I cry for this shit. Said I'm willing to ride for this shit. You know murder's my hobby inside of my closet, it's a bunch of dead bodies and shit. Niggas said it, I'm cursed, cause I go to church and stare at the Bible and shit. Shorty say I'm the worst, cause I do my dirt, and now I'm be hiding this shit. Bitch, I'm a savage, I spit at you bastards, I wonder what you gonna do to me, oh? I need to hear some more rapping, I'm just not impressed by your cash and your jewelry, oh? Are you my soldiers, and I'm a lieutenant, God damn it, you should be saluting me, oh? I hope you know I ain't going nowhere, are you rapping, just better get used to me, oh?